Hello, hello, this is Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic, coming to you today with the Diabetic Minute for everyone who wants to get and stay healthy. And today, we're going to talk about tapeworms. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what an interesting subject. And crazy that we need to talk about it, but we do because there's a warning out there. The Japanese broad tapeworm is the largest tapeworm and the largest worm in wild salmon, okay? It can grow up to 30 feet in the human body. 30 feet. And that's from the CDC. Eating raw fish, guys, like sashimi or sushi or even salmon can help contribute and associated with tapeworm infections. So what does that mean? <laughs> Imagine, this is pretty gross, but just think about this a minute. Imagine seeing something hanging out of your butt <laughs> and thinking it's your insides, right? But then, no, it's alive, it's moving. Can you imagine anything more horrible? That is not a pretty picture, not at all. So that doesn't happen often, but it can happen, and that's why you need to check your salmon and your sushi. You need to know um, where it's coming from. You need to know how fresh it is and you need to know if it's been frozen. So what are the other things that you need to know? Raw fish. Um, we have now found this tapeworm, which we used to think was just in Asia, in North American fisheries and Alaskan wild salmon and even in some freshwater fish like trout, perch, and pike. Eating uncooked salmon or sushi or smoked salmon is the main source of these tapeworms. Okay, so what is a tapeworm? How does that work? Well, it starts when an infected animal or human um, passes it along as they release it from their body, the eggs of this tapeworm, and it gets in the water. And then, you know, a little fish eats the eggs, and then a big fish eats the little fish. And then we catch it and we eat it. And when we do, it attaches to the walls of our intestines. Okay, and it lives there. Symptoms, you'll wanna know symptoms because we want to know, right? <laughs> um, they're general, unfortunately, like diarrhea, abdominal discomfort, um, vomiting, weight loss. What they do is they deplete your body of its nutrients, okay? It actually loves vitamin B12, and so you might even get anemic as it is sucking all that up. Um, you may even have neurological disorders develop from that. And as it grows, it can cause um, intestinal blockage or gallbladder problems. This is just not a very good thing, right? Prevention. Well, it, these things need to be blast frozen, the wild fish, at minus 35 degrees Celsius, but a lot of freezers can't do that. But that's what it needs for 15 hours. Or at minus 20 degrees Celsius for seven days or more. The fish industry also needs to have more sanitation, more cleanliness, and better freezers. How do we treat this? If, heaven forbid, you have this problem, the good news is a single dose of an anti-parasite drug called Praziquantel, I think that's right, um, can do the trick. It is effective. There are other worms or other bacteria that are possible from eating raw fish, with listeria probably being um, the best known bacteria that comes from fish. I know this wasn't a very ple pleasant subject, but there is a warning out there that we need to be starting to be really careful because this is now in North America. It's now in our neighborhood and I took this personal because my husband loves <laughs> the, 
uh, salmon, and I love the smoked salmon, so mm, I got to look at stuff really carefully now, and I want you to do the same. This is your power today to know to look. Don't I'm not saying don't eat it, you know, but I am saying that you need to be cautious, very cautious. I hope you will share this video with other people who like sushi, like salmon, like sashimi. <laughs> get the word out there so that we can all protect ourselves or, or know what the problem is. If, like I said, heaven forbid, we should develop it. So go out there and share this video. Watch your fish. <laughs> I hope I found you safe today. I hope I found you well, and I certainly hope I found you happy. May God bless and keep you until we connect again. This is Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic, saying bye for now. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.